Hey guys, welcome to A Closer Glimpse. My name's Chris, and in this video, while I've just wrapped it up, I'm gonna give you a snapshot of around 24 to 36 hours of what it's like to be a full-time content creator, dad, husband, everything. I used to be a retail manager for over two decades, and now I make videos online for YouTube, and I'm gonna give you kind of a snapshot of what happens each and every day. And um, some things really don't happen all the time, but I'm gonna show you footage in here <laughs> of things that happen quite a bit. And this is what this video is for. They would never make it to the main channel, ever. But they're here now. And I really appreciate you guys checking it out. So if you enjoy it, leave me a comment down below. Of course, like the smash button, all that good stuff. <laughs> Let's dive right in. Okay. So <clears throat> I like to come out here at night I know I told you it'd be kind of a day in the life of it, but we're gonna start at night. I'm gonna give you a 24 hour picture of kind of what it's like to be a full-time content creator who's trying to raise a family as well. All right, I like to come into the shop in the mornings with it being as tidy as possible. Clean, um, swept, if I can. It doesn't happen all the time, but it's gonna to happen tonight because I'm gonna give you my ideal, accurate representation of what it's like to do this for 24 hours. All right, so let's get tidying up. And with the power of editing and a little hard work, we got some clean work surfaces and we're ready to go for the morning. I mean, each workstation is ready to go and ready to be productive. Table saw is nice and ready, as well as this little work surface here, as well as my favorite production corner in the shop. I find that this area, I can be the most efficient and the most productive when it's nice and clean. And we are in that space right now. This wall here was a big clutter of drills and angle grinders and all kinds of bits and tools and I am fixing that in a, another video. Uh, you're going to see me do a little bit of that in this video. This is like what I said, a day in the life of a content creator who's doing this full time and I really have to pinch myself every time I say that because I just can't believe it. It's pretty crazy. Uh, so let's uh, go ahead and go to bed because I'm, I'm fairly tired and after the kids go to school tomorrow I will meet you guys back here and I'll show you what happens all day. So you might have noticed the bus is coming right to the driveway. This is a really awesome feature. Uh, my kids are in the developmental delay program. I'll just be very honest about that. And I was on my going full-time video, but this is one of the perks is that the bus is coming right to your door and it's fantastic. Okay, so there's the shop. So what do you say we go start the project? Nope, gotta go take care of some things. Let's go. Well, before any woodworking happens, errands have to happen, groceries, all kinds of stuff. So I'm gonna take care of that and then we're gonna start the project. You know I gotta stay loyal. Come on now. All right, so errands are done. Time to get this thing started right about now. Okay, so we're gonna break down some plywood. We're gonna start building this thing. Again, a full build video on this will be soon after I release this one. I'm not gonna do the entire project today. Probably won't finish it, but we're gonna get a majority of the carcass done and maybe the concept of what's gonna happen. All right, let's get started. Crossing around ideas here, you know, just take a pad, paper, typically how most projects start out for me. Um, so I have this weird idea here that I need to incorporate all the battery storage. Now, all the battery chargers, you may be thinking, well, why don't you just include one because I'm in the Makita universe here and you should be able to keep up with your battery charging. That would be true. Um, if I didn't have a few lawn um, equipment pieces from them, I'm, I'm all over the place in my lawn equipment. I've got um, some Makita, I've got some Ryobi. My lawnmower is Ryobi, um, <clears throat> as well as the, what else? There's something else. Maybe there's not. <laughs> but my weed eater and my, um, my blower are Makita. And those things hog up batteries really quick. So I find with only two chargers, the blower and the weed eater can't really keep up. So I'm thinking of doing all four 
one, two, three, four, and then this one for the 12 volt. Now, that being said, that's 36 inches across, which is about the, the width of this unit that I was gonna make with these drills and these uh, pneumatic tools. But the idea was, is how do, you, how do you put these on a 36 inch? You know, do you put them up like this? That just seems to be really cumbersome. So I had this idea to keep it above my line of sight so I could still see the, the what do you call them, the lights. I'm actually gonna put them on the top on the top of this unit here. So if they're like this, and I'm gonna do some pretty meticulous cable management somehow, um, but this is actually pretty cool because when this thing is above your head, it's really easy to attach and really easy to take off. And I can see the lights, and if all these four, one, two, three, four are across, I think, I think I might be the only one I've seen on YouTube to install these things upside down, but it's gonna work. Uh, it has to be above your line of sight though because you don't wanna be leaning like, oh, are they charged, are the batteries done? <laughs> you don't wanna be doing that. So just wanted to give you an insight on my thought, press on the, uh, my thought process on this um, because this kind of thing happens all the time where huh, it's called, I guess, maker's block? Let's call it that. Where you have an idea, you wanna execute it, but you just can't quite figure it out. Uh, but putting them above my, that, that ended that maker's block for me on this. All right, let's keep moving. Okay, uh, you know, the point of this video is to show you things that I don't ordinarily show, so why not? So this is, well, this was one of the first um, hose hangers I made on the CNC when I first got it. Uh, it turns out that it kind of doubles as a, a sanding holder for me. And then there's a small hook here where basically when I go to sand something, the hose isn't, you know, dragging on the floor. Okay, we all get that, that's all good. Occasionally, I'm gonna show you what happens. This is what I do. Sander's on. I'll turn it off, and then I'll set it back while it's still vibrating. One more time. Okay, that's a perfect example. It kind of vibrates the whole, the whole wall. I'm impatient, and I shouldn't do that. And here's why. This is a brand nail organizer on the wall. And you can see it has no semblance of order. Well, that just happened because that's where I was keeping it. And when this vibration happened enough times, honest to goodness, <laughs> this thing just popped off the wall and it went everywhere. Imagine all those brads going everywhere. So we're gonna put them over here. Come on, Cletus. Day in the life. I would have never shown that in a regular video because yeah, I do show mistakes, but that's the mistakes with the projects. And this is uh, something I think that the second channel is for. I don't know. I mean, maybe the main channel needs to see this kind of stuff too. But for right now, y'all are guinea pigs. All right, moving on. At this point, I've cut two pieces at 10 inches by 36 and two at 10 inches by 24. We're just gonna make a box. I'm gonna sand them first. So you just saw me cut down two pieces of wood into strips, and that piece of plywood was broken down months ago. Um, if you see here, you may have seen this rack. I did a video on rebuilding this or actually building it because the one I purchased from the store fell over. Um, I keep a lot of plywood pre-cut. Um, I bring it in, in in droves and I cut it up and I stack it up on here. And it's super convenient, not only just to put on the CNC when I need to cut something, but also for a project like this where I don't need massive sheets. Yes, I do keep sheets still available in case I need something bigger than what's pre-cut, but just wanted to let you know that it is kind of handy to have pre-cut plywood sitting around. I usually take an afternoon and just run everything through the table saw all at once. And again, I'm in a different situation. I'm more of a production shop uh, in terms of making video content and you know organization around here. So I wanted to share that with you. That's where it came from. All right, so here's what we got so far. 
Um, I have decided that I'm going to, now these fit in there perfectly. All four of these are a real snug fit, but I'm gonna keep this out. Reason being, you know, you want a charger to kind of be at the ready uh, whenever you need it, if you're taking your drills off site. So I figured that's what I would do. Um, <clears throat> and this day, at least my shop day, is about to come to an end uh, for the most part. Um, it's around, what time is it? Three, three ten, um, and my kids get home pretty early. Uh, versus last year, they used to get home like around four or fifteen. Now they get home around three twenty, three thirty. So, um, yeah, this is kind of what happens. You know, I've got so many usable hours in the day to do this craft and to do grocery shopping and to bring everything we need to in this house uh, for cooking and cleaning and all that good stuff. Uh, you guys know the situation. Uh, if you've seen my going full-time video, you know my wife is dealing with a bout of chronic fatigue right now to where she is pretty much bed-bound. And so we're, we're praying for, we're, we're, we're hoping everything is going to uh, work its way uh, to, the, to the better end of the spectrum one of these days. Uh, but for right now, she's, she's got to rest. Um, and she's got to rest a lot. So this is what we do. All right. What a blessing it is, though, seriously, uh, to be able to do this from home. I mean, it, this is it's crazy. For 23 years, I worked for someone else. Um, and, and I guess I maybe paid my dues, but I'm still a relatively young man to be doing this, and it feels so good to be doing it. Uh, but back to this, I'm going to probably come back out here in the evening after they go to bed, or I might try to sneak out here when, you know, they're kind of hanging out, watching TV, and, you know, in between diapers and stuff like that. <laughs> so, all right, let's go. And there is one more thing I do want to say, you know, um, at one point, I did go to the bank today, and I did have to go get gas um, and various other errands. Um, it wasn't very long, but I, I, I didn't feel myself out in the world like that. So um, this really isn't necessarily a vlog of like a Casey Neistat vlog where I show you everything I do in the world. This is kind of a taste of what my typical day looks like. Um, and again, on here, on this second channel, you guys have been just super uh, supportive of this kind of thing. So. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this thus far. There's more to this video, but I just wanted to uh, at least put that thought <laughs> out there. Okay, let's go. It is not <clears throat> tonight. It is the next morning. Um, I couldn't come out here last night whatsoever. My poor little boy, um, he's four years old. He couldn't keep anything down last night. We're talking multiple episodes. We took multiple baths. Um, poor kid. I mean, I, my heart went out to him. He just couldn't keep anything down. So... He's doing better this morning, for sure. Uh, he's actually in great spirits. He got up around 5.45, <laughs> like normal. Uh, I was actually sleeping in for him. And so he seems to be doing really well. Um, so I'm going to go in there. I'm going to get them ready, uh, pack them lunches. Let's go, kids. And little dude is feeling so much better. He was actually anticipating the bus so bad. He wants to go to school so bad. So I figured, why not? Do that first. Good. Hey, hey. All right, give me a kiss. I love you. Ready? Set. There we go. Ready? All right. Love you, bud. Have a good day today. Here we go. Woo! We're going to head over to Home Depot to figure out a solution to keep those on the roof of this new, or on the ceiling of this new unit. So um, I said 24 hours, but it's going to be a little bit longer because life, life happens, and you guys understand that. So let's go to the depot and figure out what's going on. So I'm thinking maybe some type of strapping like this, but I don't know. It seems a bit overkill. So another option is to buy some of this hardware here. Basically, this is creating a looped in on a cable. And those cables are sold just over here at your local big box store. That's definitely an option, but this is like 20 bucks. And these, you know, I have to get multiples of these. These are two, two bucks or so. There's got to be something a little bit better. Hold on. Let's look somewhere else. Oh, another option would be some type of zip tie, but fairly, a fairly long one. 14 inches would wrap around the whole thing, but then, I don't know. So, what's this? This might work. That is exactly what I was looking for. Yeah, let's go ahead and try this. And it's not 60 bucks like the big one, so I think this will work. Yeah, here we go.
Well, this stuff worked like a charm, and this is where I'm gonna leave this video here. It's about 8.30, 9 o'clock in the morning here, and um, yeah, a little longer than 24 hours. And I do wanna know what you think, if, if this is even something worth watching. <laughs> I mean, and I want you to be honest. Um, I, I'm, I'm very curious about what you guys have to say here on this second channel. So this solution worked really well, and again, I'm gonna tell you, this is gonna be up probably to where I can actually see the lights so I can see what's going on. I like things a little bit higher because one, I got kids in here a lot, uh, and two, it's just kind of, I don't know, that's just the way I've always done it. All right, thanks again, guys. I'm leaving it here. Like I said, y'all have a great day, and thanks for tuning in for a kind of day in the life of what it's like to do this full-time for me now. Way, way different than getting up at four in the morning and going to sling a bunch of dough and flour and uh, managing a team of people and, you know, um, food safety and all. Man, I'm kind of glad all that's over, really. It was, it was good while it lasted. But um, this is better, for sure. All right, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.